Hey, I'm Mike Oz from Yahoo Sports. This is the great George Brett. We are going to open some old baseball cards. For me, the best leadoff hitter of all time. My God, you have a Randy Johnson. Sean Green. Green. Owned me. Oh, crap. Deion Sanders. Look at this jacket. I want this jacket. I'm giving you a lot. I'm giving you my brother. When was the last time you opened a pack of baseball cards? 1985. <laughs> we, gave, we gave you some 85 do cards. I get, do I get gum? There, do you remember they used to have gum in these things? But 85 was a great year for you guys, right? I mean, oh, Pinnacle. Oh, oh, oh. I got pinnacle, a guy right? I played with right there. Oh, let's, let's do it. Let's go. Okay, let me Tell see. Tell the stories. Seattle Mariners sucked. <laughs> uh, Tony Phillips, good player. Yeah, Tony Phillips, yeah, yeah. really a good player with the Oakland A's. Switch hit and shortstop, second base. Good player, I like playing against him. Uh, John Henry Johnson, that's the worst hairdo I've ever seen. That, that is but very I remember easy. he was a left-handed pitcher. That's a very 80s left-handed picture. Left-handed pitcher. Very 80s. Uh, Dion James, I remember the name. He should have been a singer, though. Dion James or a running back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, running yeah. back, he yeah, would have been maybe, a good running back. Uh, Mike Ramsey, don't know him. Great mustache. Okay. Uh, porn star mustache. <laughs> Doesn't he look like, like indeed, uh, indeed. Jeff Bassam when he had a mustache? It looked like his. <laughs> Tony Perez, 1974. Yeah. Uh, 1974, I almost got traded for him. I was living in Los Angeles uh -huh. uh, and going to junior college for one year. Thought I'd try school, see if I was any better at it in junior college than I was in high school. I wasn't. But there was an article in the Daily Breeze, the local newspaper, saying at the winter meetings that uh, the Royals and the Reds were going to make a trade. George Brett for Tony Perez never happened. Well, nowadays. And now we're both in the Hall of Fame as third baseman, or I don't think, no, he's the first baseman. But what a good guy and what a great what, player. What's it like in, in those days to pick up the newspaper? Because obviously we don't have that anymore. No, you don't you have know? them. Yeah. And, well, and it, would, it would be delivered. Uh, the Daily Breeze got delivered about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But to, so it was more of an evening yeah. newspaper. But would you look at it and see, like, oh, crap. They I still get the me. newspaper. Well, no, but I mean. I still that. get the newspaper in Kansas so, City. You know what I do? I get it. The only reason I get it? I do the commuter puzzle. I try to do the New York <laughs> Times. I do Sudoku. And I do Ken Ken. I do the puzzles. Got to play the games, man. How about this guy, Bruce Suter? Yeah. One of the greatest closers. Thank God I never had to face him. <laughs> Kurt Gibson, oh, one of my a guy. favorite all-time teammates. Two of his teammates just got inducted in the Hall of Fame. Uh, one of the fiercest competitors there was. I love playing against this guy, and I love playing with him. Got he was pause fantastic. Here. Do you have a great story about Kurt Gibson? Uh, one day he came over to my house. He and his son, uh, what was his son's name? Kurt. Kurt? Yeah, I think it was Kurt. Because this is, he's Kirk, so I yeah. think his son's name was Kirk. Kirk. Okay, makes sense. And he comes over to the house, and Gibby lived about, in, when he lived in Kansas City, about oh, two or three blocks from me. Okay. And he came over one day, uh, I think it was an off day, and it was in the spring, and little Kurt was in town, and we were going into my house to take a sauna. Okay. And he said, come on, Kurt, you're going to the sauna with us. And, and he's going, Dad, it's too hot, it's too hot. He says, no, nah, it's not too hot. They'll make a man out of you. You know, Gibby, he's a <laughs> tough guy. And the next thing you know, he says, well, get down lower. It's not as hot. The next thing you know, Kurt's down there sucking air from the bottom of the, uh, from the crack in the bottom of the door. First ever sauna great, story. Great, great, great sure. guy. First great, great guy. Story. David Concepcion. Yeah. He was a hell of a player for the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, good shortstop, good hitter. I think he beat up my brother in a fight, though, one time <laughs> when the Reds and the uh, Pirates got in a fight. Pat Putnam. Oh, God, this guy was supposed to be really, really, really good. Decent player for the Texas Rangers. Uh, then he, I guess he went to the Mariners. But uh, good player, career average 260. Not good, bad. Good player, good 60, player. Uh, 63 home runs, uh, 260 strikeouts. Boy, he'd be a star today. <laughs> Uh, Brad Kaminsk, don't even know him. Kevin Gross, heard of him, don't know him. Onyx Concepcion, <laughs> All right, teammate here we go. of mine. Here we go. Oh my God. 85 Royals. 85 Royals. Uh, he could play a little bit. He, had, he, he thought he was bigger than he was. He was about this tall, and he thought he was a home run hitter. Yeah. You know, I thought he would have been a lot better player if he stayed on top of the ball, used the whole field. But he was, uh, he was a really, he was a, a, a good player, good teammate. We used to always tease them, saying we got the wrong Concepcion on our team. We wanted David <laughs> instead of Onyx. You got them both in the same pack. All yeah, right, here's mine. Okay. Do, you, do, you, do you want the gum? No, I'm good. Do you want to? You want to? No, you I'm good. You want to throw good. the gum like you've been throwing no, the cards? No. Are, okay. You, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, here, let's get. Okay, okay let's fumble look. in the now cards. You, now you go through fumble them, in the and cards. I ask you questions about them. No, now we Is just see. We works? see who you. Well, we, we're going to make a trade. Oh, okay. Well, I threw all my cards away. No, well, it's fine. I got a little advertisement thing. I got Dave Dravecki. Okay. Good card. He's the guy that broke his leg, his arm. His arm, Pitching, yeah. right? Yeah. Mike Witt. Mike Witt, good curveball. 
Good curveball. Ed, he, Ed, Ed Hearn, Hearn got traded glasses. for Dave Cohn. Yeah. Got traded for Dave Cohn, and then uh, and then he uh, got hurt, hurt his shoulder, and then he had a lot of problems in life, and he's battled a lot of a lot of ailments. This guy, Ed Hearn, he lives in Kansas City to this day, I think, and had some kidney problems. Well, and I'm glad to see he's doing you know better. You a lot about Ed Hearn. Yeah. Right well, he, he's a friend of mine. Lenny Dykstra. Every Lenny, Lenny Dykstra. Dykstra he's card. in he's in jail, isn't he? No, he's out now. He's out. He's out. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> good for him. That's good. He every, served his time, and every, now he's out. Every Lenny Dexter card has mouthful of something. Uh -huh. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Um, Daryl Strawberry. Daryl Strawberry. Jim Clancy. Jim Clancy, good pitcher. I hit him pretty well, though, but he was really yeah. good pitcher. He had good stuff. For some reason, he was able to hit my bat on the sweet spot pretty good. Don Slot. Don Slot. Ex-teammate of mine. Okay, now you. I, like, I love his stance. I love his socks. Look at those socks are a little so, too high, so but 80s. I love that stance. So 80s. I love that stance. Mustache. Porn star mustache, porn star mustache, no mustache, no mustache, Glasses. mustache, mustache. Well, who else we got? Mustache, must. Look at that oh, one. Yeah, mustache. That's the one. That's the one. All right, who so else this we is, got? Oh, you take them all, man. Take them all. Daryl Strawberry. Phil Bradley. How about this? Phil Bradley, quarterback for Missouri Tigers. Really? I used to go watch him play quarterback when I lived in Kansas City. We'd drive to Columbia, two-hour drive. We'd mm -hmm. stop at Harpo's and have a few uh, beers before the game, stop at Glenn's, get a burger. We'd go to the game and watch Phil Bradley play. He was a hell of a quarterback and a pretty good baseball player to boot. He was good. Usually we make a trade, but you've taken all my cards. Okay. So I have nothing to trade. I'll trade you to Phil Bradley. I want <laughs> Phil Bradley. I, I want to give you I want to give you your buddy. Okay. Um, and, I, and I want your Kirk Gibson from the ground somewhere. Okay, well, I, I, I think I want here. Can we agree to I'll, that? I'll just take a Phil Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give you the wrapper back in your gut. I got the gum and the wrapper. I got all these. Perfect. George Brett. Is, is, oh, there's Kirk Gibson. Give me Kirk there's, Gibson. Yeah. I already got a Gibson. I got a Gibby at home. I got a Gibby at home. Thank you, George Brett. Okay. A lot okay. of fun. Good to see you. Take care.